Obviously Florida State did not play the first time since 1981 without qualifying for a bowl game. North Carolina has completed the flip of rivals 100 quarterback Sam Howell from Florida State. Jim Mora, are you confident in Willie Taggart's plan? No. This is a real concern two years in a row with no quarterback. You remove what you know to be possibly a cancer in your locker room, yep. which is DeAndre Francois. There's a pessimism surrounding Florida State. They've got an image problem right now and not getting a quarterback in two consecutive classes. You can't, you can't overstate the importance of that. War Chant TV here in Jacksonville, Florida. I don't even need to give this guy introduction next to me. It's the man, the guy that's in charge of this 2020 class, uh, Jeff Sims, quarterback FSU commit. He's the bell cow, man. He's running stuff. Now, we talked about, is, is anybody seeing you now and seeing you last year, your, your growth and you, you, how you've gotten bigger is, is clearly. Tell, tell, me, tell everyone what you told me earlier, what you did to kind of get bigger this year. I mean, just eating. <laughs> I, eat, I eat like 10 peanut butter jelly sandwiches a day. Yeah. And last year I was 180, now I'm 205. Yeah. So I put on some weight. What difference do you see or feel when you play football at that weight now? I just feel more like dominant because I, I feel like I can run people over now and just run through them. For those that haven't seen you play, describe your playing style, what you feel you do you do well, and, and maybe some things that you could get even better at you know, at your senior year. I mean, my playing style is kind of unpredictable because like, if, if you just give me time in the pocket, I'll kill the defense. But if you like make me scramble, I'll kill them even more because like, my running abilities are good too. So you're killing them either way. Yeah, I'm killing them either you're way. You're like Thanos from Avengers. You're going <laughs> yeah. to just kill them all. It's like, them all. I got them. <laughs> So what's jumping the recruiting? I know you were the ace guy. You told me you're after 15 guys, but uh, tell me some of the guys, maybe four or five, that you really like. You're really pushing for. I'm really pushing for Jalen Knighton, yeah. Richie Leonard, Keziah Holmes, um, Tate Johnson, and Michael Redding. How are you feeling about those guys? And one more guy, Bryce Gowdy. I'm not gonna stop on him either oh yeah looks pretty good for him yeah but uh how do you feel about those guys i mean how many do you feel you can get or how many feel that honestly i feel i can get all of them i mean it's not that hard do they ask you ever ask you questions about you know coach browse and what the offense is going to be like and all that stuff i mean most of them have visited um florida state and all that so they already know about coach browse and the offense but they just tell me that the offense is going to be exciting and like why not join? What do you tell them about what the offense is going to be like with you? You're the quarterback. You're going to be the guy. So what do you tell them about what the offense is going to be I just tell them it's going to be special. It's going to be special and they don't want to miss it. Now, this class could be really special. You talk about Keziah. I mean, that looks really good. Uh, Richie looks really good. Uh, uh, Knighton seems to look pretty good. Uh, I mean, talk about how this class is coming together. I mean, what, what do you like about it so much so far? This is going to be a top class, and I just like how everybody's vibing with it, and everybody's going to join it. I just know they are. I, I just know. Now, you told me when you came down there, you didn't plan on committing when you first went down there, but then you really connected with everything. I know Coach Taggart was a big part of that, and then I think Coach Browse kind of threw it all together. But tell me about those two guys, Coach Browse, Coach Taggart. We'll talk, start with Coach Taggart. What was it about him that clicked with you? His, his vibe. I mean, Coach Taggart is, he's already like a father figure to me. And like, that's what I need in a coach. And like, it just, it just showed me that team is going to be special and I wanted to be a part of it. And then you got a chance to meet the offensive guru, which is Coach Browse. He knows a lot of stuff. What is he like, first of all, personality wise? And then secondly, what is, what is his offensive mindset like when you talk to him? Coach Browse is a cool dude. I mean, he's, he's energetic like me and his offense is fast, 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 fast. Like, they do not even huddle up. Yeah. Were you surprised when you first found out, like, they don't use playbooks? They just... I mean, I was when I seen that, I was like, huh? <laughs> but then at the same time, I was like, that's good, actually, because... You don't spend all that time. Yeah, you don't spend all that time. Yeah. What um what do you what is he like about you as a quarterback when you talk with him consistently? What is what does he say like either you can get better at or stuff that he likes? Honestly, he just likes how I fit the program. Like I can I can get out of um trouble if I need to. 
Um, I can throw any ball on the field, and like that's all I need. I'm smart, good character, all that. I got you. Well, you got a message for No Nation. You got you got the camera right in front of you. You got something to tell them. No Nation, be ready. <laughs>